so as you notice I am not wearing any makeup in this video once again but it's for good reason because I'm actually going to be doing a demo of the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation and I've actually been using this for probably about three, maybe even four weeks now. So I have a good idea of um, some of the things that I want to talk to you guys about it. And pretty much just my opinions and thoughts on the product. So yeah, but I wanted to um, show you guys pretty much how it covers uh, on my type of skin, which is a combination of oily and dry, leaning more so towards the dry part. Um, but I do get acne. I get a lot of acne around uh, my nose area as well as my chin and right here. Um, I don't really break out so much on my forehead, but I noticed that I have been um, just the past couple weeks or so. But, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a little bit of a demo on this. Um, and in case you are wondering, I am in the color 110 Ivory. Now, as you have seen in other videos, I do apply foundation with my finger. Um, you can obviously apply it however you want, however works for you. I don't have a brush um, currently to apply this with, which is why I just use my finger, but that's okay. Um, okay, so first of all, the first thing that I noticed when I got this foundation is when I went to put it on, well, actually, normally I am the lightest shade in pretty much any foundation or powder or concealer or anything that you can find. Um, so as you guys notice, when I go to apply this, it actually does look a lot lighter than my skin tone. Um, which I was a little bit nervous about at first. Let me just go ahead and pin this back. Okay, I'm sorry about this random thing, but it's the only thing I had near me to pin my hair back. So, okay, as I was saying, when I first got the product, I noticed that when I was applying it, it actually looks a little too light for my skin, which is odd because I'm always, like, the lightest shade in pretty much anything, like I said. Um... But after, like, while applying it, I noticed that it's, like, a shade too light for my skin, which kind of worried me. But then I was like, yeah, I'm getting some sun. No, it's such a lie. Um, I'm not getting sun. What? Um, sorry, my phone's going off. Anyways, what it is, is I noticed that it goes on a bit lighter. But after, I would say, about 30 minutes, it actually, like, settles into my skin to a like my normal skin tone but better like it looks a lot better and I haven't put any kind of primer on I haven't put any kind of moisturizer or anything like that I'm just putting this straight onto my face so I'm only doing one half so you guys can kind of see um what it looks like and I'm not going to apply any concealer or anything I just pretty much want you guys to see the bare bones of um, how this looks. Okay, sorry. I had to answer my phone. It kept ringing. Um, Alright, so I finished the application just on this side of my face, as you guys saw. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit and see if you can tell the difference between this side compared to this side. Um, definitely, I don't know if this lighting is going to like wash me out or not, but definitely you can see that this side, um, my cheeks, they do have a lot of redness. Um, you know, you can see the acne over here. And then, as opposed to this side, which has even the skin tone out a lot better. Um, down here, it's even the skin tone as well. Yeah. So, I really hope you guys can see this. I have no idea. I don't have a viewfinder on my camera, so I'm trying to look at the mirror behind it. Um, but hopefully, you guys can see that. So, whoops. Oh. Just. <laughs> okay. So, um, now that my hair is a disaster apologize. I had to like run up really quick and get my phone. Okay, so yeah, so basically that is the application of the foundation. That's how it covers. That's what it looks like. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and finish the other side while I talk to you guys about it. So pretty much my opinion of this, and I believe I hauled this in, um, I want to say March. Either, it was either a haul or um, a favorites video. And I originally have been using my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. I've been using it for probably, I want to say, a whole year now. Um, and I hadn't switched to anything else because that had been, like, really working for me. Well, I'd heard a lot of, like, hype on the Nearly Naked foundation. And a lot of girls were like, oh my gosh, it's like holy grail product, this and that. So I had to try it out, obviously. Um, finally got my hands on it. And the first couple uses, I was like, no. This stuff is terrible. It makes my skin feel weird. Um, I don't know. I just, I didn't like it, but it was because I was so used to my Maybelline Fit Me foundation. 
Well, another thing that almost like completely turned me off to this product is the fact that um, it actually does have a really strong scent of um, sunscreen. It does have, let me see, it has an SPF of 20, which is really good for a foundation. But I'm telling you, that's like all you smell is the sunscreen. And that initially was really going to turn me off because I really do not like that scent. That's pretty much why I don't wear BB creams that often because I really don't care for that scent. Um, but I will say that after you've put the makeup on and you apply the rest of your makeup, like your powder and your concealer and everything, you really can't smell it. Um, so if at first the application is like, oh my gosh, this smells terrible, like I'm not going to be able to, you know, deal with this, try and finish your makeup first before you, like, make your final judgment because honestly, after you have it all settled onto your skin, you really can't smell it at all. Um, just don't take a big whiff of the bottle because that will definitely just turn you off of it. Um, so yeah. So that was my, you know, first impression. Like I said, the first couple times I used it, I really... I was very unsure about it. I honestly wasn't going to keep using it. But, I, like I said, I noticed that after I've applied it and it has had a few minutes to set on my skin, it does turn to, like, the perfect shade for me. It's such good coverage. Um, it definitely is not full coverage, but I would say it's about medium to full. Like, in that fine line between not full, but, you know, not, like, light coverage. So I really like it. Um, definitely if you have maybe more um, acne or blemishes or acne scarring, I would say this might not be the fullest coverage for you. Um, but if you're kind of like me where you have light breakouts here and there or you have maybe some pigmentation um, on your cheeks, like, some, like a reddening of your cheeks, this helps so much. It's really nice. Um, and then this paired with my concealer and my powder, like, it pretty much gives me very flawless skin. The only thing is if my skin is a little bit flaky, like if it's extra dry because of the acne medication I use, um, it definitely, like, I don't know, it doesn't apply as well. I definitely feel like you have to have almost perfect skin for this to really apply, like, perfectly but I really, really enjoy it otherwise. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like full face. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to tell a difference from on my camera um, from what it looked like before. I know that the lighting, it's natural lighting, and my camera is not the best quality, but hopefully you guys will be able to tell a difference. So pretty much other than that, I definitely do recommend this foundation. Um, if you have purchased it, like if you purchased it right when it came out and the hype about it and everything, if you went out and purchased it and didn't really like it, I would definitely suggest trying it out again like I did because I actually really love it. Um, like I said, I've been using it for... I want to say a month, maybe even two months, um, and I love it. I wear it to work. I wear it, you know, when I go out. I wear it at night. I wear it during the day. I pretty much wear it all the time. It is such a great product. It definitely will be in my March favorites, that's for sure. So I really do enjoy this foundation, and like I said, I definitely recommend it to you guys. Um, I'm going to go now and do a full face kind of tutorial. Well, not full face because I already did my foundation, but I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial for you guys, a fun spring makeup tutorial. So definitely um, keep a lookout for that and if you guys like these kind of like demo um, review videos for products definitely leave a thumbs up below so I know that you guys want to see more of these and also if you want leave me a comment below and tell me what foundations you guys have been trying out um, because I'm very like I'm very timid when it comes to trying out foundations this is probably this is the first foundation I've tried out in a year um, so if you guys have foundations that you really like that have good coverage because man I like to cover this acne up okay I do not like it peeking through my makeup so if you guys have um, suggestions for me definitely leave them in the comments below I'd love to read those and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video bye